Hi guys, today I will show you how to open up your MacStore One Touch 4 external hard drive if you for some reason need to open it up and get your hard drive out from it I will show you how to do that today so first comes first um, just be aware that by opening this up more than likely you will end up um, removing the little label down here uh, actually, you will need to remove the label, which in turn voids any warranty that you might have on it. So if you're planning on using the warranty, I would not suggest that you open it up. Now, my external hard drive is way past warranty. So at this point, I'm just, this is my last resort. I want to retrieve the pictures that I have inside of the drive that's in here. And so... I looked online to see if there was a tutorial or someone that could show me how to open it up, but there wasn't. So I figured it out myself. This is the Maxtor One Touch 4, one terabyte. Um, it's not the plus, so just be aware of that. I believe each model is slightly different. So let's get started. First of all, you will need uh, two tools. And the first one is a Phillips um, screwdriver. The second tool that you will need is either a flathead screwdriver, which I do not have, um, but in my case, I will be using a butter knife. Yes, a butter knife. It's not sharp, and the only reason why I'll be, I'll be using this is to sort of um, pry, pry it open. So um, you will need to use a little bit of force. Uh, don't use anything that's serrated and try to do it as gently as possible, especially if you are planning on reassembling it and reusing the case. Um, let's get started. Okay, so the first step is um, go ahead and turn it upside down and you will need to remove the Maxter, the label. So go ahead and remove that. I've already disassembled this, so I just figured I was going to show, uh, since I knew how to do it, I would record a video just in case anybody out there uh, needed some help and didn't know how to do it. So you remove the label. Um, that will reveal the screw that's here. It's only one screw in, in this particular model. You will also need to remove the two rubber strips at the bottom of your external hard drive, so go ahead and do that as well. Okay, uh, next step, we're going to remove that screw, okay? Okay, now that we've removed that screw, you will need to reach for your flathead screwdriver or that butter knife, which is the one I will be using. Now, the best spot to open up this case that I found was the side that has the inputs for your USB cable and for the DC power input. So um, use this side first. Uh, this is the easiest side I found. Um, there are, keep in mind, there are clips. There are about three clips on each side of the case. So be gentle when you are prying it open. Um, like I said, if you're planning on reassembling re, um, this and reusing the case, because if you're like me, I am not going to be using it, but I did end up breaking a part of one of the clips, so just be aware of that. Okay, so let's get started with this. Okay, so it's best to lay it down somewhere flat and just gently squeeze your screw, uh, screwdriver or in my case the butter knife and just kind of gently pry it open and then after that you're going to just continue around just with gentle force you hear the clips Hold on. 
Okay, you might not even have to do that part. There we go. Okay, so I've opened this up all the way around. I'm going to remove the first half. And let's get rid of, well, actually, no. Okay, you can go ahead and gently pull it from the case. There we go. Okay, so we're inside. Okay, the hard drive is in there, so we need to get it out of this metal enclosure. So you are going to need to reach for your your screwdriver again, your Phillips screwdriver. We'll start with the small uh, screws. There are six of them, six small ones. Uh, there's one here, one here, one here, one here, and two here. Here and here. So go ahead and get those screws removed. I will start with these. Now bear with me, I know that it's not fun watching someone just unscrew <laughs> these things, but um, it's, it's my first video and I just figured, you know, it could help someone out, so bear with me. Okay, two out, four to go. I figured I would do this myself and give it a shot. Instead of going and paying tons of money for data recovery, you know, I don't care about my music, but my pictures are something that I really would like to get back. So, now some of these screws are a little bit tight, so you might have to apply a little bit more. I don't have the best best screwdriver either, so that doesn't help. Ah, this one doesn't want to come out. Okay, there it goes. And the last two, which I said were here on this side. This is where you would normally push the button. Okay, so you've removed the six small screws. Now we remove the four big ones, which are here, here, and here, and here. So let's get those out.
Now, all of the six screws that I took out, the small ones, they're all the same size, so you don't have to worry about remembering which one goes where. They pretty much all fit into the different holes the same way. Okay, so we've got, done that, got rid of all the screws. Now it's just a matter of taking out the hard drive. Now, where you can start is here. You see this part right here that has your the inputs, the USB and the DC power. Okay, you just lift this up gently and it comes off like this. Okay, put that aside. See, you can see your hard drive already in there. And there's a little circuit board right there. Okay, and in hopefully, in my case, this is what has gone bad and not the hard drive itself. So hopefully by putting it either in another encasement or on, a, on one of those hard drive ports, I will be able to access all my files inside. So cross your fingers for that. Okay, now the next step is pretty much just kind of sliding out the hard drive. Uh, make sure you hold it with both hands. You don't want it dropping. So you just kind of slant it and gently... Oh, sorry, I forgot something else. Okay, this part right here is kind of uh, hooked on. So as you're sliding it out, you're going to need to slide this out too or you're gonna pull it and rip it. So gently just slide it out a little and this should slide off, okay? Then you can pull the big case out. Okay, so get rid of that. Okay, so here's your hard drive. Uh, one last part in order to just have the hard drive itself and you got you have to disconnect it now mine uses SATA or SATA <laughs> um, so you just kind of gently pull it off okay. and there you have it you have your hard drive all by itself and you can do whatever it is that you need to do with it. But um, hope this video helped you. And if there was something I did not answer or did not provide, let me know in the comments. But um, that's pretty much it. So you guys have a good day. Bye.